Most fighter jets fear the sky, but the MiG-25, it wasn't one of them. It was a rebellious beast that laughed in the face of limits. Let me explain. Most jets struggle above 60,000 feet because their engines need thick air to breathe. The higher they climb, the thinner the air gets, and eventually the engines start choking. But the MiG-25 didn't care. It played by its own rules. On August 31st, 1977, Soviet test pilot Alexander Fedotov took it to the edge of Earth, an absolutely insane 123,520 feet. That's not just high, that's flirting with space. Up there, the sky turns black, and the air? Nearly gone. The engines got so cold, they shut down completely. A metal beast falling back to Earth like a missile. But as the MiG dropped, the air thickened, and suddenly, boom, the engines roared back to life. It came back from the dead, mid-air. And before anyone starts talking about the X-15, let's clear the air. Yeah, it flew higher, but it wasn't a jet. It was a rocket-powered aircraft launched from a B-52 and couldn't even take off on its own. The MiG-25, it rolled down a runway like any other jet, climbed like a monster, and shattered expectations. Its record is officially recognized by the FAI, the international body that tracks aviation world records. No rocket boost, no gimmicks, just raw Soviet steel, twin turbojets, and a pilot fearless enough to punch the edge of space. The MiG-25 didn't just go high, it went where no jet had any business going, and it came back laughing. 